first I'll get rid of the camera and the light I don't need them for now in order to do that I'll hold down shift and I select my objects then I press delete to get rid of them now I want to see the dimensions of this cube for that I hit the shortcut key N we can see the dimensions down here it's a 2 meter cube I want to make it bigger so I need to change the scale so I hit the shortcut key S then I hit 3 to scale it up by 3 hit enter to exit the function now if I go back to dimensions you can see that it's a 6 meter cube now I hit N again to close that tab now I'm gonna add another cube that I'm gonna use to make the doors I go to add then mesh then I select cube you can see the new cube it's inside at the center now I need to scale it into a rectangle and make it come out of the size of the main cube I hit S to scale then X to expand it along the red axis I move my mouse until it comes out of the sides of the main cube I hit the left button on the mouse to exit the function since this rectangle needs to have the shape of a door I also need to scale it up and down along the Z axis to do that I hit S for scale then Z to scale it along the vertical axis then I move my mouse down until it's made the shape that I want left mouse click to complete the function now I need to drag it down and place it where the door is gonna be for that I hit the shortcut key G for grab and then Z to move it down and I drag the mouse down until it, it's placed where I want it and again left mouse click to complete the function now I'm ready to make the door I select the main cube object then I go to this little blue wrench modifier properties I go to add modifier I select boolean my object is gonna be the small rectangle and my operation is gonna be difference so it's gonna subtract the smaller rectangle area from the, the main cube now I can hit apply and I don't need the smaller object anymore so I can delete it as you can see it, it left the opening that this is gonna be my door but it, it left a hollow space where the smaller rectangle used to be now I'm gonna do a similar thing for the windows I need to add another cube but this time I'm gonna use the shortcut keys shift plus A mesh then cube you can see that it appears at the center of the main object I also need to scale it but this time I'm gonna do it along the Y axis so I hit S then Y and I scale it until it comes out of the sides of the main cube similar to the openings for the door I need to apply a boolean modifier so again I select the main cube 
I go to the little blue wrench, add modifier, select boolean. The object is gonna be the smaller rectangle. Operation is difference again, and I hit apply. Now I can delete the smaller object and you can see it leaves an opening for the windows. Now I need to create the hollow space inside the house. I'm gonna use the same procedure. I shift A shortcut to add a cube, mesh, cube, scale, and I'm gonna scale it up almost to the size of the main cube but I'm gonna leave enough room for the walls. So you can see at the bottom, it doesn't quite reach there, so I need to move it down. I press G for grab and Z to move it along the vertical axis. There's some room left at the top, so I need to scale it up. I press S then Z move my mouse upward until it's placed where I need it. Now I'm ready to apply the boolean modifier, but first I want to see how the inner square fits in there. I want to take a look from different angles. In order to do that, I need to use the middle mouse button. If you hold it down, you can change the angle of view. I can take a look at the object from one side or I can move it to the front or I can go to the bottom. You can also use the middle mouse button to scroll down to zoom out or scroll up to zoom in. Now I'm ready to apply the Boolean modifier, same as before. Select the main object, modifier properties, add boolean modifier. The object is going to be the inner cube. Difference is the operation again and hit apply. Again, I'm going to hold down the middle mouse button to change my view and be able to see inside the house. Looks good. Now I'm going to start working on the roof. In order to do that, I select my object. Then I go to the top left corner where it says object mode. I change it to edit mode. Then I have these options. You can do one corner or an edge, but this is the one I need, face selection. Click on that and then I select the face for my roof. Now I need to extrude it. For that, I go over to the left and select the extrude tool. It also has a description for the shortcut key, which is E. I click on my extrude tool selection, get this yellow indicator. Click on it, hold it, and move it upward to extrude the roof portion of this object. I go back to my selection tool. I click on one of the side faces of the roof to deselect the top. But I also need to select all four faces at the same time. For that, I hold down Shift while I select the other faces. Since I need to rotate the object to select the other two faces, first I select these two, let go of shift, I use the middle mouse button to rotate, press and hold down shift and select these two. Something to notice here, if the object starts to get out of the window, you can use shift plus middle mouse button to drag your object across the screen. So if it gets out of the window, 
you can drag it back in like so now that I have all four faces selected I'm gonna expand them outward but first I need to press E for extrude you see it wants to extrude upward that's not what I need so I hit escape to cancel that operation and now I'm gonna use scale to expand it outward I used extrude first uh, so that the program knows that I only want to expand the roof portion of the object I press S and scale my roof now at the top it would look better if the roof was a single face to fix that I select all the faces on the roof right click I go down to dissolve faces now we have a single face on the roof now I want to give the roof a tilt in order to do that I need to select every face on the roof top and bottom and the side so I'm gonna use my shift key I'm gonna hold it down and select everything with the left mouse button then I go to my tools on the left and to the bottom I select this shear tool I guess several different options for tilting or shearing um, I move my view to the front of the house I select this purple strip and I drag it up so I can tilt the roof down on the left side I go back to my selection tool and there you have it a simple 3d model of a house in upcoming videos I'll be adding stuff to it and I will also be exploring more functions in blender thank you for watching